Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Brought to you by popular demand, here is another test of Windows Defender. Needless to say, Windows 10 has been consistently improving its security with every update, and the newest version of Windows Defender has a lot of cool toys or tricks to prevent malware from infiltrating. Most of it is geared towards exploit prevention, like core isolation, and we have the memory integrity check, which means it's going to be harder to install malicious code into high security processes. Of course, the signatures are getting better, and a lot of people point to some of the AV comparatives tests where Windows Defender has a really high web blocking rate. And one of the issues I have with testing Windows Defender is that it's not very cooperative. Maybe it's just a trick because Windows Defender is scared of the P security channel. Every other AV lets me get a folder into the system, scan it, remove all the files, and then execute the rest of them. That's the standard procedure for tests. But Windows kind of circumvents that because a, it doesn't give me accurate scan results. Every time I scan, it only detects like five or 10 files and the rest are just left. And B, even the files that are detected, it doesn't remove properly. It doesn't give me an option to just delete all of them. You either have to go through them one by one and decide what to do with each file, or you can just tell Windows to take proper actions, in which case it just does nothing. It kind of denies access to them, but that's all. The files still remain on the system, which makes it impossible to, say, calculate the detection ratio or accurately find the files that it doesn't have signatures for so I can do the unknown malware prevention test. But come on, Windows Defender, you're not going to escape me that easily. Today, I have a method that is going to circumvent all of that nonsense. How am I going to do it? With a little bit of automation. So I have here a Python script that I like to call Malix or the malware executor. I like the name both ways, you know, malware executor as in running malware, but also as in killing malware, that meaning of execution as well. So what this script is going to do essentially is go through the samples folder, run each of the samples on the system. If there is any exception, like if the file is blocked or Windows Defender just blocks a certain part of it and it crashes, it is going to ignore that and move on to the next file. I've configured all of that. It took a little bit of testing, but it's out of beta now, so I can actually use it. It is also going to tell us which file is currently executed, so we can probably trace the infections. And it's going to execute each file with a second delay or a 0.5 second delay, which makes it just like a normal user execution. So let's get our samples and get started with the test. Now here I have 100 items. Most of these are malware and ransomware. I didn't get the usual mix of threats that I get, including PUPs. The reason is this is more of a baseline test. If Windows passes this, then I'm going to go for a more in-depth test later on. But this is really high detection ratio stuff. So most AVs are going to get a detection ratio of maybe around 90 to 100% on this, probably closer to 100. And as you can see, Windows has already started removing some of these. And I will let it continue. But I just want to clarify that this uh, cross on the shield does not mean that the real-time protection is turned off. It has actually turned on, as you can see over here. Just that Windows is detecting threats, which is why it's giving us the warning that the system is not secure. Now, while I'm not using a lot of PUPs on this test, I want to show you that I did enable the detection of PUPs anyway. So I've made the registry changes that kind of makes Windows Defender use the expanded detection, which includes potentially unwanted applications and potentially unwanted programs. I think we're finally ready to take Windows for a trip through the rough countryside and see if it can hold its own against other competent AV solutions. Tusk seems to be stuck at malware63.exe, and I suspect the reason... Hmm. It seems we were hit by some ransomware. And the problem, I think, is that the files 
in the malware folder themselves are getting encrypted, which is preventing the execution from proceeding. Oops. So it seems all of our data is encrypted now. Keep in mind, I have been using Windows Defender on the default settings, which does not include the protected folders option. As you can see, the controlled folder access is turned off, but then again, controlled folder access is just like the thing we saw in a fast internet security where if you turn it on, it just protects a few folders and it doesn't allow modifications in there, but that can also affect legitimate applications, which is not a really good sign of a robust behavioral blocking component because what about things that don't modify files? What about other types of malware? So now what I'm going to try to do is delete the samples folder and then we'll do a second opinion scan with Hitman Pro and see how we did so far. We only made it up to 63 before the system was compromised. But I guess that's good enough. And as I suspected, this sample is active. It's actually detected by both Bitdefender, Kaspersky, and even Sophos. It seems to be a globe imposter variant. The ransomware also created a copy in app data local, and that was successfully done. And then we have a DLL in system 32, which is a separate Trojan. What do you think about these results? Do you think they're good enough? I don't think so. I think even other free AV solutions are going to do much better, not to mention that they're going to be a bit more reliable in dealing with malware. Windows Defender at the moment seems a little bit glitchy and messed up. But just to give you an idea of the kind of files I used for this test, we're going to do another quick demonstration. Stay tuned. I installed the Defender Free Antivirus on another test system in a hurry, and let's just see the kind of detection ratio we get for the files that I tested with Windows Defender. So I'm going to go through the same steps. I'm going to turn off the protection. I'm going to drag in the folder of malware. As you can see, these are the exact same files I used in the test just a few moments ago. And now we're going to do a right-click scan with Bitdefender, and we'll just remove all these files and see what kind of detection ratio we get, just to get an idea of what another AV engine would do with these files. All right, so we have 97 threats. I'm going to select Delete for all of these. And now we're done. And guess what? We have only three pieces of malware left, and these are not the ones that were left by Windows Defender. A couple of them don't run. So the detection ratio was 97%. I wasn't kidding around when I said a good AV would have detection close to 100% on these files. Now you've seen both the results and a comparison with a free AV product. One thing is for certain, it does seem like Windows is trying to take over the antivirus industry, gain more and more market share. But because they have been slacking at this for the last 10 years, they have to play catch up. Have they caught up yet? No. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and share if you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Consider supporting me on Patreon. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.